Hi, my name is Shirley. I live in Montgomery, Alabama, and I am a lifelong Republican. I've been like that since the days of Ronald Reagan. Of course, I couldn't vote until 1994, but anyway, I voted for just about everybody Republican until 2016 because I'm sorry. I just couldn't see myself voting for Donald Trump. He He's like the most unabashed person who, honestly, I don't think he has a clue on how to run a country properly, okay? It's like my the party I grew up and loved has turned into nothing more than a cult. And I didn't vote for him in 2016. I'm glad I didn't vote for him in 2016 because I'm one of those Republicans, I think, with an open mind. I look at everything. And I swear, my late father, Senior Master Sergeant Nelson D. Burton Jr., who served in the U.S. Air Force for more than 28 years, he would be appalled at what the Republican Party has become today, especially under Donald Trump. In fact, I can't, I don't feel like calling it the Republican Party. I call it the Trumplican Party because that's all it is. It's just a, it's, it's the cult of Trump. Because one thing, I swear I'll never forget this one. Remember Sharpie Gate last year when he took that Sharpie marker and uh, made that map um, where parts of Alabama were supposedly going to get affected by Hurricane Dorian? That caused an unnecessary panic in Alabama. People were calling the National Weather Service office in Birmingham only for that office to get um, scoffed, really, by NOAA under Trump. That made me really angry because it's like, look, you caused an unnecessary panic for the people in this state because of that powerful hurricane, okay? And he never did own up to it. It's like, Noah said, no, 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 there's still better. Trump was right. No, he was wrong. Dead wrong. And it's just like the coronavirus situation. He, it's like he still doesn't care what's going on. There have been more than 140,000 people dead because of this coronavirus. If we'd have jumped on this sooner, we would have we would have had this handled. But no, because of his foolishness and the fact he wants to dumb it down and dumb everybody else down in the process, it's messed everything up for everybody. And I'm sick of it. Okay, now I may be a lifelong Republican, but I'm not stupid. I'm gonna be one for Joe Biden in 2020. In my case, it looks like it's a lesser of two evils, but I'll take someone who will honestly bring integrity back into the White House. And I encourage any other Republican that's feeling like I do, do the same thing, okay? I actually wrote in somebody else in 2016. Not this time, because I promise you this much, Donald Trump is not going to be the president again. He's done too much damage to this country. He's made us the laughing stock of the world. Our allies are nervous. The terrorists are laughing at us. It's like they don't have to do a damn thing because we're doing it to ourselves. <sighs> I mean, I am so ashamed of what's happened to my party. And people are calling me a liberal just because I'm not going to vote for Donald Trump or anyone associated with him. Well, guess what? I'm still a Republican. I'm always going to be one. And if they don't like it, Tough luck. I've made my choice. I hope you make yours, too. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, for the U.S. Senate, it's Doug Jones all the way. Republican for Jones 2020. Take care.